Hello all, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rapun uh, Today we are going to learn how we can use GitHub Copilot in our ID. Okay, so in the last two videos we have seen uh, what is a GitHub Copilot and how we can configure the free trial version of a GitHub Copilot uh, uh, in our uh, ID. And today we are going to see how useful that particular plugin is to make our coding easy okay so in the first video itself i uh, showed you a few uh, screenshots showing uh, what is the purpose of this github copilot so as the name resembles copilot is a helper okay we can call it like a helper that help us to easily uh, do the development okay it will give some suggestion and we can uh, easily choose the best suggestion out of it and we can use it in our code but it doesn't mean like it is a final solution we'll have to write the uh, logic or we'll have to modify the code based on our requirement okay so this uh, 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 this github copilot is uh, trained on uh, billions of public repositories uh, okay and uh, it is using a LLM uh, model uh, that is mainly specific for giving the suggestion on uh, code snippets. So it is using that LLM model and it is providing you the suggestions. Okay. So uh, in the last video, we have uh, seen like how how we can use this, uh, how we can enable this particular plugin in a uh, studio and uh, how uh, we have to enable the free trial version as well. Right. So uh, today we are going to see the usage of this particular plugin. So uh, here I just opened that GitHub Copilot again. So I just went to uh, this particular extension and I just opened that uh, GitHub Copilot. Okay. So here itself in the video you can see what what is happening, right? So it is uh, defining a Python file and it is typing uh, define the particular method name. Okay. Then it is automatically giving some suggestion okay so if the user is okay with this suggestion means uh, he can proceed with the suggestion else he can uh, cancel this suggestion right or he can go with another suggestion from the uh, copilot as well so let me first go to one ppt okay so here you can see these are few of the keyboard shortcuts that we have to use uh, while using the github copilot okay so uh, after we we giving some prompt or the method name so um, so in the first video itself i uh, mentioned like uh, uh, this model is also working based on the prompt that we are giving right so here uh, just consider you want to create a method okay so the method name is a prompt okay so you have to properly give what is your requirement in the method name and based on that this llm model will check on the trained uh, data and it will give you a suggestion okay so the accuracy of the output is totally based on the clarity or uh, the accuracy of the prompt that a user is providing okay so we have to provide the proper naming so once you provide the proper naming in order to get the suggestion what you have to do uh, in order to uh, trigger inline suggestion you have to enter alt plus uh, slash then it will give you the option okay if you're going for mac mac os means you have to use uh, option plus uh, the uh, slash symbol okay and if you are not satisfied with that uh, suggestion and if you want to go to next suggestion means you can go with alt plus uh, bracket and to see the previous sessions again you have to go to the uh, alt plus uh, reverse bracket okay then uh, if you want to accept a suggestion if you want to accept a suggestion means you just need to uh, tap then that particular code snippet will get added to your uh, id then if you want to dismiss an inline suggestion uh, means you just need to click on escape uh, button okay then show all suggestions in a new tab means just click on control plus enter okay then it will show all the suggestions for the prompt that you have provided based on that you have uh, you can uh, select the uh, needed one okay so that's how it is uh, going to work so let me go to studio and uh, here also i'm going to create a python file let me click on new file let me name it like a uh, github copilot demo dot py okay then okay so that's it uh, github copilot demo dot py file right create file right so you can see it has uh, created a uh, new file in the uh, id and here i'm going to use a visual 
a studio code as an id okay so in the first video i uh, give you some suggestion like which are the id that uh, uh, this github copilot is going to support so you can select any of the id based on your requirement and you can create a file and you have to set up the github copilot okay then uh, just consider i need to create a calculator okay for an example okay so what i'm going to do i just give define okay then if i enter calculator okay here you can see it is giving you some suggestion right it is giving you some uh, suggestion for you so what i'm going to do is let me add something like this okay then if i give uh alt or automatically it will give you some suggestion right here you can see it is automatically giving you some code snippet right if you are okay with this code snippet you can select this one or if you are not okay you can Escape from this, okay. Or if you are going to use a friend bracket plus alt means it, it is going to give you the new suggestion, okay. Here you can see it is giving some new suggestion. And if I click on again the <coughs> rows bracket, it is giving you the previous suggestion, okay. So if you are not satisfied, you can just click on button and it will get the uh, remove. And again, I'm going to enter alt plus uh, slash, okay. Again, it is giving you the suggestion, right. So this is the help of uh, uh, GitHub. Uh, uh, copy it okay so using the open ai uh, model uh, it is searching this particular calculator uh, keyword uh, in that particular uh, data set and it will give you the suggestion uh, as a code snippet okay so that is the purpose of this uh, github copilot so the main important thing is like based on the prompt that you're giving so here the prompt is the method name or the function name based on this prompt uh github copilot is going to check right and even here you can see the name of the calculator that i provided is also wrong still it's providing the uh, uh suggestion right so that is the benefit of uh, uh, github uh, copilot so it can still search uh, by using some uh, NL, nlp natural language processing and it, it can give you some uh, suggestion okay so i'm happy with this uh, and i'm going to uh, give that okay so this is my uh, method so just consider if i want to run this particular method means i can just give calculator that's it right and uh, let me run this let's see how it is going to run run python file okay so here it is asking for the first number i'm going to give it like a four second number i'm going to give it like five and here you can see the result it has came like a nine right so here uh the purpose is if it will just uh add the two numbers okay so that is our purpose or if you are not satisfied with this code means what you can do is just uh, delete it okay again give a, a control slash okay okay so again uh, the same code is uh coming right so let me do one thing Okay, let me remove this and uh, uh, let me calculate okay it will take some time for uh, giving the suggestion okay so here you can see it is trying to get something calculator okay so here you can see uh, this is uh, an another uh, uh, method so let me select this and uh, i'm going to choose this code okay so here you can see first we declared this uh, calculator and uh, here you can see automatically give some suggestion and uh, uh, and uh, uh, here you can see it has automatically uh, called that particular method as well so if i'm going to execute uh, we have to uh, give three inputs first number second number and operation if you're not satisfied this process means you can uh, go for the uh, next uh, suggestion as well 
Okay, so that's how this GitHub component uh, is going to go. So let me try to define another uh, method. So uh, just consider like I need to read a uh, Excel. Okay, so just consider read uh, Excel. Mm, we using pandas, right? Pandas is a package available. Okay, so if I give pandas itself, it is automatically giving some suggestion, right? So let me select that, and uh, it is giving some uh, okay. A path. Okay, so this path is not valid in my case. So what I'm going to do is, I believe I have some file already there in my machine. So let me go back. Mm. Or uh, okay, let me go to downloads. Download. Okay, so this is one file. So let me copy. Let me go here. Properties. And uh, let me select this path. Okay. And the uh, file name is test.xlss. Okay. So I'm just going to change that path. Um, and here we have to modify the slash. Okay. So that's it. And uh, if I'm going to uh, call this particular uh, function means it will uh, read all the data from this particular uh, test.sls file and it will uh, print it like a data frame okay so it's very easy right like you don't need to import the pandas you don't need to define it so it is automatically giving you solution and uh, the code is readily available right you don't need to write this many number of lines mm, so let me try to run this let's see how it is going to execute and uh, this is for the first calculation three four and what is the operation let me give it like a star okay here you can see the answer is a 12 and uh, it is now running the second one or read excel with the uh, part of and it should give uh, the data here you can see right so this is the data that is available in the uh, excel uh, rahul and my second name and uh, the name of our channel right and uh, let me do one thing let me sorry let me Comment these two things and consider if I want to go with another package for Excel uh, reading. Okay, so just consider. Uh, uh, so in some companies they uh, won't have the usage of a panda, right? So at that time, uh, just consider I need to go with some uh, open uh, uh, Python uh, package. Okay, so here you can see open Excel with itself it is giving some suggestion right so i can directly go with that particular uh, package and uh, i'm going to give the same path over here okay and here you can see it has automatically selected the path also i don't need to modify the changes because based on the data that i provided previously it automatically fetched that path and it updated in the new code right and uh, here you can see it is auto it is uh, going to automatically print that as well so let me do one thing, uh, read with open cell, right? So that's it. Okay, so let me try to uh, execute this one and let's see how it is going to work. So this many number of lines I didn't code, right? Automatically, uh, GitHub Copilot has uh, gave me this uh, suggestion. So let me execute. Okay, so here you can see uh, line by line, it has uh, fetched the data and it has uh, printed. Right. So uh, here you can see first print is the maximum number of rows and the maximum number of columns is printed as three, and uh, it has uh, printed uh, the one uh, value what is there in the first row, and it has uh, printed the uh, second uh, column value as well, and uh, uh, then later it has printed the uh, end to end uh, value in that particular column. Sorry, particular row. Right. So uh, this is how, like, if you don't want to print all these things, means you can just uh, remove it. And if you want to do some modification, you can directly modify it in the code. Okay. So this is how this particular GitHub Copilot is going to work. And here you can see this many number of lines. I did it in very uh, uh, within some limited time, right? So all this code was written by uh, our GitHub Copilot. I didn't write anything. I just give this a proper prompt and based on that prompt uh, github copilot has provided the suggestion okay so i hope you got a clear understanding about how useful this github copilot to uh, uh, speed up your uh, development process and uh, many organizations are now uh, readily using this particular uh, extension 
to increase their uh, deliverables okay so if you find this video useful please like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye